The Honest Cow and the Tiger. Long ago, a great event was happening in a beautiful farm. There, there, my dear. I'll call you my Roma. Oh! Hey! Hey, Tilu. Meet your new friend. Who says I want to be friends? Well... Just give me the fruit that you got me. You have got it, right? There it is, by the side. Fresh from the forest. And don't do this leaking business while I am around. Yeah! And you will still get me fruit every day, right? Of course I will, Tilu. If you don't, you wait and watch. Just because I have my own little daughter, I won't forget you, Tilo. I promise. And you know, I always keep my promise. <laughs> we'll see. Maya, he's such a rude fellow. Why do you even talk to him? She even gives him fruit. Why? Well, I would never talk to someone as unsophisticated as he. Now, come on, girls. He isn't that bad. I would never talk to him. There is already a lot of rudeness and anger in this world. Can't we spread a little bit of friendship? But, Mother, I don't like the way he speaks. That is because he doesn't have a mother who can teach him to be polite. He's not rude, darling. He is just scared and lonely. <sighs> I miss you, Mother. Huh? Mother? Mother, can we go out? Not now, darling. Go to sleep. But I can't. Can you get that thing outside for me to play with? That's the moon. And no, I can't. Go to sleep, Roma. your mother got for me from the forest. So, it's for you. Why are you giving it to me? Because I know that a mother's gift is the most beautiful thing in the world and I want you to have it. Mother was telling me that you don't have a mother. Don't you go meddling in my private life. I brought you a gift. Just take it and thank me for it. Hey, listen. Thanks. Okay. Hey, listen. Now what? Can we be friends? Friends with a rude, horrible fellow like me? No. Friends with the little guy who got me a gift. Mother says we all need a little more friendship in the world. Yeah, right. <laughs> You'll be all right? I will miss you, Mother. Don't go. If I don't go, darling, I won't be able to feed you your milk. I must go and eat some fresh grass. Well, but come back soon. Yes, I will. What will I do here all alone? Hmm, let me see. You can play on the farm, say hello to all the flowers and vegetables here, and then help the farmer's daughter clean the shed, stack the hay. Why should she help a human? Don't we do enough already? Yeah, she is right. Nothing in this world will make you happier than helping others. Try it, you will enjoy it. Just make sure you get a good scrub and don't go out to the sun too much. It is bad for your hide. How are you, Maya? And the little one? Hey, how was your first night on the farm? Slept well? Let's go, my beauties. Find fresh new grass awaits you all. Every day, 
the farmer would take his cows to the forest for grazing. of summer was here, and the weather had become scorching hot. It's getting so hot. Even the grass is getting drier, and our milk is reducing. I want some sunscreen, folks. My baby, you need the freshest milk possible. For that, I need fresh grass. Gosh, if it doesn't rain soon, and this scorched up grass doesn't taste half as good as the fresh green one. Well, that's a beautiful patch of grass. Hey, don't go there! Maya, come back! Maya didn't hear a thing. All she wanted was some fresh grass so that she could give the freshest milk to her daughter. Maya didn't realize that she had entered a tiger's territory. He got Maya sent and he attacked her. Maya ran for dear life. The tiger chased her right to the edge of the cliff. Maya was scared. She knew the tiger would not spare her. My baby! Oh! My dear Roma! <laughs> Who's Roma? Uh, my calf! She's just three weeks old! And she needs her mother! I too need some food. I am hungry. I... I know, but... Prepare to die. I am sorry, but these are the rules of the jungle. Just one day. Just give me one more day. Just let me say goodbye to my baby. Please. What do you mean? Let me go back to the farm tonight, and I shall return here tomorrow. You are welcome to eat me then. Ha! Huh. Are you serious? What makes you think I will trust you? Don't trust me. But do trust a mother. I strayed away from the herd only to get fresh grass for my daughter. Prepare to die. Are you all right? You... you saved my life. I guess. Why? I was coming to eat you. I... I just... could not... not help. Fine. I will let you go for this evening. But you must come back tomorrow so that I can eat you. I promise. Thank you. You saved my life. I spared yours for one night. Go now! Maya came back home, sad. Maya! Maya you're, you're back! back. <laughs> now you're never going back to the jungle again. Now, now, I will have to go to the jungle. So will you when you get a little older. We need to have our grass, you know. But... The world is dangerous, but that's no reason for us to stop living. There are bad things, but then there are so many good things, too. The sooner you learn that, darling, the happier you'll be. Mother, I know one good thing. You came back. Take care of her, all of you, please. Maya, of course. But why are you talking as though... I have to go back to the tiger tomorrow. What? I begged him to let me see my daughter one last time, and I promised to return. Don't be silly. You don't have to fulfill a promise like that. Yes, think of your daughter. Not that evil, horrible tiger. No, no. He's not evil. Come on, mother. He wants to eat you. He wants to eat me because he has to. Nature made him that way. We were built in such a way that we need to eat grass to be able to live. And a tiger is built in such a way that he needs to eat other animals to be able to live. Just as we get hungry, 
tigers get hungry too. But... It was nice of the tiger to let me return for one night. That's only because you saved his life. Oh. I followed you for a little distance, and I saw what happened. If he doesn't eat, he will die anyway. I promised him that I won't let that happen. I must go to him tomorrow. Don't leave your daughter alone! Trust me! I know how it feels! But I am leaving her with such beautiful friends, like you, Tilu, and all of you. If I don't fulfill my promise, a part of me will die anyway. Because every time we lie out of fear, every time we are unfair to someone because we're afraid, a little part of us dies. A little part of the goodness in the world dies. I can't have such a world for my daughter. I must fulfill my promise. So, the next morning, when they all went out for grazing, Maya kissed her little girl goodbye. She went to where she had met the tiger the previous day and waited. Meanwhile, as the tiger was walking towards the spot, he was very restless. How could I trust her? What if she brings humans along to trap me? Why would anyone come to die? Wait, is that her? So you came? Yes. Why do you want to die? I didn't come here to die. I came because I promised to help you live. You must have your food. You want me, a predator, to live? Nature's balance is perfect. Who am I to spoil it? If you respect nature so much, you shouldn't have strayed into my territory. Keeping yourself safe is the first rule of the jungle. You claim to love your daughter, and yet you put yourself in danger, knowing how much your baby needs you? I know. I made a mistake. A grave mistake. I shouldn't have left the safety of my herd. I should have been careful, and I am ready to pay for my mistake. Ah, uh, well, go away. Go back to your daughter. But... We tigers don't need to eat every day like you cows. I can go without eating for a day or two. I'll find another prey. Thank you. Thank you so much. This world needs a little goodness, I guess. I am a predator, but I am not evil. Let me tell you, though, if you're not careful the next time, I will eat you right then and there. Oh, thank you. I will never... Now go away before you start looking like meat to me. Say hi to your daughter. Don't you ever stray into my territory again. You don't have to be afraid, but you must be careful. And so, Maya returned to her darling Roma that night, happy and wise. Her honesty and goodness had touched the tiger so much that it saved her life and added a little goodness into the world. <laughs>